Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage and what we're going to be doing today is replacing the front stabilizer bushings on the 2004 Honda Pilot. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, just want to welcome you here and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out Car Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at carapprentice.com. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. So we've been chasing after some front end noises on the 2004 Honda Pilot. And in this video, we're going to tackle the clunking and sort of looseness feel in the front end. So I've narrowed the culprit down to the front end stabilizer bushings, which we're going to replace in this video. So, let's get into it. Here's the front end of the pilot on ramps, and I'm just tugging on the end of the stabilizer bar. As you can see in here, the passenger side is rather loose. The driver's side is just fine. We're going to pick up after I've already sprayed the stabilizer bolts with penetrating oil an hour prior. We'll start on the passenger side to get a quick win before moving to the more difficult driver's side. I have a breaker bar with a 14mm socket to break the front bolt loose. I can only turn the bolt less than one quarter turn so I had to remove the socket from the breaker bar's drive, rotate it one quarter turn, then put it back on the breaker bar to continue. Once I got the bolt out part way, I could feel some resistance. So I decided to hit the bolt's threads with more penetrating oil and let it sit for a few minutes before finishing the removal. Then I just worked on the second bolt. and I removed the bushings bracket. I attempted to remove the bushing without disconnecting the stabilizer link, but there wasn't enough room. So I detached the link using a 19 millimeter wrench and a 17 millimeter socket. Here's a new set of bushings, they're Moog K90559. Comparing a new bushing to the old one, you can see that the interior of the old bushing has worn to a larger size and no longer holds the stabilizer bar in place. We'll reverse the process and install the new bushing. Bracket and the two bolts with the 14 millimeter.
I just tightened the two bolts by feel since I couldn't find the torque spec. I'm guessing it's somewhere around 20 to 25 foot pounds. To finish up this side, I jacked up the car to put the weight on the suspension, then tightened the stabilizer links nut with a 19mm wrench and a 17mm socket to 58 foot pounds. Nineteen millimeter, seventeen, fifty-eight foot pounds. All right, on to the driver's side. And I disconnected the end link from the strut first this time with a 19 millimeter wrench and a 17 millimeter socket. Next, I used the breaker bar to loosen the front stabilizer bolt. Since I'd applied penetrating oil to the passenger side and the driver's side prior to doing the passenger side, it had plenty of time to work its way into the threads. There it is. I'm going to try the regular wrench. This one, like that. And then I also have an offset wrench this one. So I'm going to use the regular wrench to break it loose hopefully and then use the offset to get it all the way out. I think. We'll see. So because we are underneath it, it's uh, righty loosey, lefty tighty. So we're going clockwise to loosen it. So I'll just do this, reach over the top here. I can get in there. There we go. So, uh, double wrench trick may work also. There we go. It's loose now. I'll show how far I can spin it with this wrench. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, one thing I have to be careful of is not to strip the head of the bolt, too. This is a terrible location. So I would take just a few, you know, like a, not even a quarter turn at a time. It's like about an eighth of a turn at a time. With this wrench, seems to be working. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out this way. And there it is, we got it. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to figure out how to get from underneath the car, because I'm stuck now. But uh, looks like we got it out. This thing should be up. Yeah, look at that. There's the cover. There we go. Jeez, let go. There we go. There's our bushing. Right there. Okay. So I guess we'll see if we can get this back in now. Now the one thing I would say is you may want to put some penetrating oil in this hole, this one back here, just to make sure the bolt goes in all the way. All right, so while we're on a roll, I'm going to try to get this new one in. Uh, I would just recommend taking a wire brush and brushing off the bolts. bracket back on top. Hopefully those holes are lining up. Alright, so through the magic of television, as they say, I've got the bolts back in their holes. 
I've got the back one started, so uh, at least we won't we'll have to worry about cross-threading anything, so it's going in straight. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten them down now. So uh, the back one does take a little bit of time. You have to methodically, like we, we turned that when we were loosening it, it's about one-eighth of a turn. So it takes forever. So I'm going to do that first, do the back one first, and then we'll tighten the front one down. So again, I have the wrench upside down, where it's facing down. If you can see that like this. So I'm just holding my hand over it to make sure I don't strip the head of the bolt. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see here. Lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. Yeah, that's what we said. So I'm going counterclockwise as I'm staring at it from here. So I'm going to put the stabilizer link back on, right here, not on. Nineteen millimeter and seventeen. Okay, that's good for now. We're going to tighten it just like we did the other side. Alright, so there you have it. There's a place in the front stabilizer bushings on the 2004 Honda Pilot. And as you saw, that last bolt at the rear on the driver's side was a little bit of a pain to get out. So I took my time with that. Now, you could drop the subframe like I mentioned in the video. I didn't want to go through all that just to get that bolt out. And just took my time and got it out. So hopefully this information was helpful. And thanks for watching.